Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the old man and the reed. My name is Jerry. Uh, today I'm going to be continuing uh, the uh, presentations I've been doing of uh, literary award-winning books that I've read. And today I'm going to be uh, discussing a, a lesser-known book award. Uh, this is the uh, National Book Critics Circle Award. It's given by the National Book Critics uh, Circle and uh, to uh, books published in English. Um, the award began in 1975 and um, I think with that I, uh, I'll go ahead and show the books. I haven't read all of the books uh, or all of the winners uh, of this. There's a few I haven't, but I've read uh, the vast majority of them. And uh, I'll show the winners I've read and then any of the finalists that I've uh, also read. And I'll just be showing the books. My plan is to do uh, individual videos of books and the writers uh, later. Uh, so with that, now I'll begin. Uh, so in 1975, the winner was E.L. Dr. Rowe for Ragtime. Uh, and I didn't, or there were no uh, finalists listed for that year. Then in 1976, the winner is John Gardner for October Light. And uh, I actually hadn't read any of the finalists that they list for that year. Uh, 1977, the winner was Toni Morrison uh, for Song of Solomon. And again, I didn't read any of the finalists. Uh, 1978, the winner was John Cheever for the stories of John Cheever. And I did read one finalist from that year, and that's uh, John Irving, The World According to Garp. Then in 1979, the winner was Thomas Flanagan for The Year of the French. And uh, I did read, uh, it looks like three of the finalists from that year. William Styron, Sophie's Choice. Norman Mailer, The Executioner's so Song. And uh, Philip Roth, The Ghost Writer. In 1980, the winner was Shirley Hazard for uh, The Transit of Venus, but I haven't read that. Uh, I did read uh, a couple of the finalists, though, of that year. Uh, so E.L. Dr. O, Loon Lake, and uh, William Maxwell, So Long, See You Tomorrow. In 1981, the winner was uh, John Updike for Rabbit is Rich. And I read uh, some of the finalists for that year. Uh, Robert Stone, A Flag for Sunrise. Uh, an interesting book. Uh, this is... Russell Hoban for uh, Rid Ridley Walker. Uh, kind of a interesting book in that it's written in what they're referring to as Ridley talk. So uh, Ridley has basically his own language and you have to decipher it as you're reading it. And uh, the, uh, 
another finalist for that year, Donald Bartholomew, 60 Stories. Okay, 1982, the winner was Stanley Elkin for George Mills. Uh, and I read a couple of the finalists for that year. Ann Tyler, dinner at the Homesick Restaurant. And uh, Alice Walker, the color purple. In 1983, the winner was William Kennedy for Ironweed. And I read a couple of the finalists. Uh, Raymond Carver, Cathedral. And Philip Roth, uh, Anatomy Lesson. Uh, in 1984, the winner was Louise Erdrich for Love Medicine, and again, that's one I haven't read yet. I've led, read a lot of her books, but not that particular one. Uh, I did read one of the finalists from that year, Allison Lurie, Foreign Affairs. In 1985, the winner was Ann Tyler for The Accidental Tourist. And uh, I read a few, or looks like four of the finalists. Uh, Larry McMurtry, Lonesome Dove. Peter Taylor, The Old Forest. Uh, Richard Powers, Three Farmers on Their Way to a Dance. And uh, Don DeLillo, White Noise. Then uh, 1986, uh, the winner was Reynolds Price for Kate Vaden. Uh, really an excellent book. Uh, I think, uh, you know, it, it's uh, one I really thought was quite good. And uh, uh, one of the runner-ups, uh, Peter Taylor, A Summons to Memphis. Okay, uh, again, 1987. The winner was Philip Roth. He's another one of those writers I've read a huge amount from, but I, not this particular book, uh, The Counter Life. But I have read uh, a couple of the uh, finalists from that year. Uh, this is uh, Toni Morrison, Beloved. And Tom Wolfe. The Bonfire of the Vanities. Nineteen eighty eight, the winner was Barati Makerji or The Middleman and Other Stories. And uh, I did read a couple of the finalists for that year. Pete Dexter for Paris Trout. And Raymond Carver, Where I'm Calling From. In 1989, the winner was uh, E.L. Dr. Rowe for Billy Bathgate. And uh, I read a couple of the finalists, John Casey, Spartina, 
and uh, Oscar La Huelo, the Mambo Kings plays the Mambo Kings play songs of love. In 1990, the winner was John Updike for Rabbit at Rest. And uh, I read a couple of, looks like three of the finalists. Uh, this is Wallace, Wallace Stegner for Collected Stories. Charles Johnson, Middle Passage. and Tim O'Brien, The Things They Carried. In 1991, uh, the winner was Jane Smiley for A Thousand Acres. And I read a couple of the finalists. Norman Rush, Mating. And Lewis Begley, Wartime Lies. Nineteen ninety-two, the winner was Cormac McCarthy for All the Pretty Horses. Probably his best book. I, I'm, I, I'm in my opinion, he wrote a lot of really great books too, uh, and. Uh, I read a couple of the uh, finalists. Randall Kennan, Let the Dead Bury Their Dead. And Robert Stone, Outer Bridge Reach. Okay, 1993. The winner was Ernest J. Gaines for A Lesson Before Dying. Uh, quite a good book. And I read one of the finalists, Annie Prue, The Shipping News. And again, really great book. In 1994, the winner was Carol Shields for The, Sto the Stones Diaries. I hate to keep repeating it, but another great book. And uh, the one of the finalists, William Gaddis, a frolic of his own. Okay, in nineteen ninety-five. The winner was Stanley Elkin for Mrs. Ted Bliss, and that's one I haven't read. Uh, and uh, I did read, looks like just one finalist from that year, Richard Ford, Independence Day. Uh, 1996, the winner was Gina Baralt for Women in Their Beds. Uh, great short story collection. And uh, one of the finalists, uh, Jamaica Kincaid, The Autobiography of My Mother. Okay, 1997, the winner was Penelope Fitzgerald. For the Blue Flower, and it's a book I haven't read, but I did read, uh, looks like three of the finalists, uh, Philip Roth, American Pastoral, Charles Frazier, Cold Mountain, and Don DeLillo, Underworld. In 1998, the winner was Alice Monroe 
the love of a good woman. And I read uh, one of the finalists, uh, Michael Cunningham, The Hours. In 1999, the winner was Jonathan Lethem for Motherless Brooklyn. And I read uh, one of the finalists, uh, J.M. Coates Z. Disgrace. In the year 2000, the winner was Jim Crace for being dead. And uh, Jim Crace is not only just an excellent writer, but he comes up with some really clever and uh, creative ideas for books. And this was really quite that way. It was uh, an interesting read. And uh, I read uh, uh, one of the finalists. Uh, this is Michael Chabon. The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay. And really uh, Chabin's best book. Then in 2001, there's a series of years that they don't list finalists, so I all I have is the winner. Uh, so in 2001, the winner was W.G. Siebald for Austerlitz. In uh, uh, let's see, I guess 2002, the winner was Ian McEwen uh, for Atonement, and that's one I haven't read. Then in 2003, the winner was Edward P. Jones, The Known World. Uh, in 2004, the winner was Marilyn Robinson for Gilead. Uh, in 2000, or 2005, the winner was E.L. Dr. O, The March. Uh, and 2006, uh, the winner was Kieran Desay for The Inheritance of Loss. And this year they did start listing, uh, or well, I guess the next year. Uh, in 2007, their winner is was Jonette Diaz for The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde. And they do have uh, finalists listed again for that year. And I only read one of uh, the finalists. Uh, that's Hisham, Hisham Matar in the Country of Men. Then in 2008, uh, the winner was Roberto Bolano for 2666. And uh, Roberto Bolano is one of those writers uh, I just uh, had to read everything he uh, published uh, years ago, quite a few years ago, uh, and this was one of his better books. Yeah, I've read a couple of the finalists from that year. Uh, one is Alexander Hemmen, The Lazarus Project, and the other is Elizabeth Strout, Olive Kittredge. Okay, 2009, the winner was Hilary Mantel for Wolf Hall. And I didn't read any of the finalists for that year. In 2010, the winner was Jennifer Egan, A Visit from the Goon Squad. And again, I didn't read any of the finalists for that year. In 2011, the winner was uh, Edith Perlman, Binocular Vision. And uh, I did read uh, 
one of the uh, finalists, Jeffrey Eugenite, Eugenitis, The Marriage Plot. Then uh, in 2012, the winner was Ben Fountain, Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. Uh, looks like I read one of the finalists, uh, Adam Johnson, The Orphan Master's Son. In 2013, the winner was uh, Chimamanda Nguzo, Nguzi Adechi for Amer American, Americana. And uh, I read, uh, looks like three of the finalists for that year. Uh, Donna Tart, The Goldfinch. Javier Marias, The Infatuations. And uh, Ruth Ozeki, A Tale for the Time Being. Okay, in uh, 2014, the winner was Marilyn Robinson for Lila. And I read a couple of the finalists. Marlon James, A, B a Brief History of Seven Killings. And uh, really a great book. I think one of my favorite books of all time. Uh, Rabbi Alamedin. I wish I could pronounce his name because I really like his writing. An Unnecessary Woman. Paul, uh, in 2015, the winner was Paul Beatty uh, for the sellout. And I read uh, uh, you know, let's see, where are we? Okay, I didn't read any of the finalists and then the following year 2016, the winner again was Louise Erdrich for La Rose, and again, I haven't read that book, and I hadn't read any of the finalists. So we jumped to 2017. Uh, the winner was Joan Silber for Improvement. And uh, I read uh, one of the finalists, Jasmine Ward, Sing, Unburied, Sing. In 2018, the winner was Anna Burns uh, for Milkman. And I read uh, one of the finalists, Dennis Johnson, The Largest of the Sea Maiden. In 2019, the winner was Edwidge Danticat for Everything Inside. And I read one of the finalists, Colson Whitehead, The Nickel Boys. Uh, then in 2020, the winner was Maggie O'Farrell uh, with Hamnet, Hamnet, and I haven't read that, and I didn't read any of the finalists for that year. Uh, and uh, 2021, which is the last year that's showing on my screen for that for this award, uh, the winner was Honoré Fanon Jeffers for Long, 
lo the love songs of W. E. B. Du Bois. Uh, quite a good book, actually. Really good. And uh, I read one of the finalists, and that's Joshua Cohen, The Netanyahu's. And so that uh, that's the end of uh, this presentation for the National Book Circle Book Critic Circle Award. Uh, so I want to thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll be doing another video here soon. Thanks.